Hey there guys, welcome to the video. My name is Pushpinder Gill and uh, this is the third video on fractions, right? And uh, this video is for complex fractions. Uh, well, let's go ahead and get started guys. Now this video is only for SAT uh, students who are actually going to write the SAT uh, 2016 onwards. It's the new SAT, the redesigned SAT. Well, okay, so let's go ahead and uh, talk about uh, complex fractions here. Now, First of all, let me just go ahead and give you a little bit overview about complex fractions. Now, what are complex fractions? Uh, complex fractions, the way I would like to define it, uh, are the ones which are of this form. So let's suppose if you have 4 by 5 all the way divided by 7, right? So how do you actually solve this fraction? Will the 5 come down? Will the 7 go up? I mean, there are a few rules to be followed out here. Okay, so let me go ahead and discuss those rules with you right here. Now, if your complex fraction is of the form of 4 by 5, that means you have a fraction divided by a number, right? So this big line here denotes, that means this is the main division line, this is the main division line. So what will happen here? The 7 stays wherever it is. So this can actually be transformed into this way. This can say that 4 by 5 is actually divided by 7. So this is what it is. 4 by 5 is divided by 7, which actually turns out to be 4 by 5. And uh, since this division sign, when it turns to multiplication, the 7 will actually become 1 over 7. Right? So what, did, what, did, what are you doing here? You're actually bringing this 5 down. Right? So this is what you're doing. You're actually bringing this 5 down. In another case, if I say 4 divided by 5 by 7, Right. So if I say 4 divided by 5 by 7, then what is going to happen? So this is nothing but 4 is divided by 5 by 7. And if I multiply, if I change this division sign into a multiplication sign, then this 5 by 7 will actually become 7 by 5. So what am I doing here? I'm actually taking this 7 up. So there is a difference between those two. So if you have A by B divided by C, then this B goes down. And if you have A divided by B by C, then the C goes up. So you have to be really, really careful because this gives you the result as A over BC and this gives you result as AC over B. So the both give you different results. So you have to be really, really careful about that. Fine. So I hope you're understanding what I'm trying to say here. Uh, it will never be, and you know, it will never. It's never going to be uh, a way ambiguous for you guys to understand where is the main division line. It will be very, very clear. It will, they will never say that three, four, and five. They will never do it like that. One line will always be bigger, or one thing will always have fractions associated to actually denote the whole. Sorry, the the the, the brackets associated so that actually you can find out the all, find out all the fractions. So in this case, four goes down. Fine. So this is what I want to talk about complex fractions. This is where you might make a mistake. So you have to be really careful about that. Let's go ahead and solve some questions on it. All right. So this question here says that uh, write the fraction in its simplest form. Right. So we have this fraction here. So you can clearly see that this is the big division line and this is divided by this. Right. So first of all, let's calculate what is 2 by 3 plus 1 by 6 plus 1 by 4. So if you want to calculate that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make everything 12 because uh, 6 times because 12 is the number which kind of is divisible by all these numbers I can make them equal to 12 so this becomes 8 over 12 plus 2 over 12 plus 3 over 12 so this actually becomes 13 over 12 so that means this thing is actually equal to 13 over 12 now the whole thing is divided by 2 by 3 minus 1 by 2 let's make it 6 let's make it 6 here and let's make it 6 here so that actually becomes 4 over 6 minus 3 over 6. That is equal to 1 over 6. So this is 1 over 6. So if we've actually made a video to show how, how, to, how do you actually add fractions or how do you actually subtract fractions, which is actually in the first part of the fractions video. So if you don't understand it, make sure that you go ahead and watch that video. Now what is going to happen? This is equal to uh, 13 over 12 actually divided by 1 over 6. So basically what is going to happen is this is going to become 13 over 12. When this goes to multiplication, this will go up. So into 6. So what is going to happen? This 12 is going to come down and this 6 is going to go up. So that is 13 over 12 into 6. So 6 times 2 is 12. That means your answer is 13 over 2. 
So I hope you understood here guys. It was pretty easy but it was a little tricky. All you have to do is make sure that you realize uh, what is the main division line and if this is the main division line this is going to go down and this is going to go up. Fine. So let's move on to another question. So let's say we have this question. I will actually recommend you to go ahead and pause this video and then do the question. So this question is 5 by 6 minus 2 by 3 all divided by this value here. So let's calculate 5 by 6 minus 2 by 3. So let me just make it 6 here. So that is 5 by 6 minus 4 by 6 which is actually going to be equal to 1 by 6. So the top, the top part is nothing but 1 by 6. Let's calculate what's the denominator. That is 5 by 12 minus 1 by 6 multiplying by 2 here that actually gives us 5 by 12 into 2 by 12 sorry subtraction 2 by 12 which is going to be 3 by 12 which is nothing but 1 by 4 so that means the denominator is 1 by 4 so you have 1 over 6 divided by 1 over 4 so what is going to happen the 6 is going to come down this 4 is going to go up so that means it's going to be equal to 4 over 6 which is 2 over 3 if you actually deduct 2 times 2 is 3 and 2 times 3 is 2 times 2 is 4 and 2 times 3 is 6 that means my answer is option C so I hope you understood this part here guys so I hope this was clear uh, let's move on to another question okay so this looks like a tricky question so this question says that the value of this when a is equal to 2 and b is equal to 3 so let, let's just first go ahead and simplify this so what is this uh, 1 over a plus 1 over b if I multiply by b and multiply by b at the top, I multiply by a and multiply by a here, what do I get? I get b divided by ab plus a divided by ab. Fine. So this comes out to be equal to a plus b divided by ab. Fine. The top part. The top part is a plus b divided by ab. And what's the denominator? 1 over ab. So it's a plus b divided by ab and the whole thing divided by 1 over AB. So what is going to happen? This is going to come down and this is going to go up, right? So you're going to have A plus B divided by AB times AB. This and this is going to cancel and you're left with A plus B. And A is 2 and B is 3. That means your answer is 2 plus 3, which is actually equal to 5. Another way and actually a good way of solving this problem is you substitute a and b initially. You want to find 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 divided by 1 over 2 into 3. That's what you want to find. So 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 is actually going to become you multiply by 3 here, you multiply by 3 here, multiply by 2 here, multiply by 2 here. So you become 3 plus 2 which is 5 divided by 3 into 2 that is 6 divided by 1 over 6. Now the 6 goes down and the 6 goes up so you're left with 5 over 6 into 6 that means your answer is equal to 5. So that's another way you can actually solve this problem right so I hope you understood this part here guys. Uh, moving forward to the next one alright so it has mixed fractions as well as complex fractions so it has both the things right. So what is 2 1 over 3 so that is actually equal to 3 times 2 6 6 plus 1 7 so what I'm doing here is 3 times 2 6 6 plus 1 7 divided by 3 and 5 1 over 2 is actually going to be equal to 5 times 2 10 10 plus 1 11 so that's 11 over 2 and 3 1 over 3 is 3 times 3 9 3 plus 9 plus 1 10 that's 10 over 3 we've actually solved this in the second part of the uh, the fractions uh, playlist so this is what we have so we have 7 over 3 divided by 11 over 2 plus 10 over 3. So let's go ahead and find out what is uh, 11 over 2 plus 10 over 3. So 11 over 2 plus 10 over 3, if I multiply by 2 and multiply by 2 here, multiply by 3 and multiply by 3 here, I actually get 33 over 6 plus 20 over 6. So this comes out to be 33 plus 20 which is 53 over 6. So that means this thing turns out to be 53 over 6. So I have 7 over 3 the whole thing divided by 53 over 6. Now this 3 goes down and this 6 goes up, right? So I have 7 over 3 into 6 over 53. So this is 3 times 2. 7 times 2 is 14 divided by 53. So your answer is option E. So I hope you understood each step that I've done. Right, so step one was to convert these mixed fractions into the normal fractions. Step two was to actually add this up and to get this, 
right and uh, step four was to to take the three down take the six four take the six up and then do the multiplication remove the factors which are common and then you get 14 over 53 fine so i hope this is fine guys i hope you're understanding and uh, thank you very much for watching this video guys i hope this video was helpful to understand the complex fractions right and this would be the end of the fraction playlist and then we'll be moving on to different parts of the of the, of the new SAT and also we're going to be adding some uh, fraction uh, uh, practice questions as well uh, practice videos where you will be solving some complex uh, questions for SAT in, uh, in in fractions in this playlist so uh, I hope you understood this guys and uh, thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one